1979, Dad bought the Oakland Bakery. We moved from Decatur over here. I was nine years old at that time. In 1981, he started making uh, the Oakland noodles to sell out of our, our uh, bakery. And then some of our bakery customers we delivered to who were inquiring about uh, selling our noodles there also. So we started putting them in you know, retail grocery stores and stuff. In, in probably 83, we started that distribution. Uh, in 93, we closed the bakery because the three times the work we was doing was on noodle production and not so much the bakery work. So in 93, we closed the bakery down and went strictly to uh, just noodle production. distributors that pick up here at the semi and, and they go to a lot of places that we don't know about so it's neat to hear someone say oh I seen your noodles here and you know you didn't even know they were in that town paper so I could make more money. Um, and so, and then I went to Eastern Illinois University, majored in journalism, started working at the Charleston and Mattoon papers, um, did that for almost 10 years, and then uh, worked at Eastern for eight and a half years in public relations. And the whole time I was in PR, I just missed the news part. So, um, and I've always kind of, it's always kind of been in the back of my mind how cool it would be to run my own hometown newspaper. Um, and so yeah, this spring, uh, I actually thought and thought about it, and I actually was praying about should I do this. And uh, one day I just finally grabbed the phone and called the owner of the newspaper and said, would you happen to be interested in selling the paper? And she said, have you heard rumors? And I said, no. And just that day, she had sat down with her husband and said she was ready to give up the newspaper. And so it just all fell into place, and it just seemed like it was what was supposed to happen. And so I uh, started, uh, the actual closing date was June 27th, and my first issue was July 4th issue. And um, it's, just, it's just me in here. I do everything. I do the writing. I do the designing. I do the mailing out, the advertising, everything. And uh, so it's been quite an experience. I have a lot of experience in the news side of things. I have no experience in advertising, circulation, 
but I'm getting it now. So um, there's not a lot of sleep involved, but I, the, the response I've been getting from people has been amazing. And it just kind of keeps you going because people just love the hometown newspaper. They love reading about their friends and neighbors. And I just love being the person that can put that in there. They look forward to seeing their paper every week and it makes all the you know, late nights and early mornings worth it. Actually, my brother came up with the idea. We had, my father owns the building here. It's straight across the street from the Columbian building on the square in Oakland. And um, a food pantry was in a portion. He has a wood shop in a portion of the building and the food pantry was in the other portion. And when the food pantry moved out, he decided that it would be a good opportunity and a good spot to house a children's theater. There are a lot of kids in the area that uh, maybe aren't involved in sports and it's another venue for them to have a, a positive activity. So he decided to gut that side of the building and he, and uh, with the help of a few others, decided to put a theater here. There have been several people in the community that have stepped up and helped try to get the theater actually from the building that it was into what we hope for it to be. Uh, of course, my dad owns the building, Robert Lee, and his son, Rob, has the idea. He's done a lot of the work. We had to take down a lot of uh, things off the walls, off the ceiling to prepare for things. And so they've done a lot of work with regard to that. Brad Lee from Bradley uh, Home Improvements has done a lot of uh, electrical type work and building, constructing. They actually had to put a inside staircase. There wasn't one prior to this, so they had to build a staircase to put in. And so he was in instrumental in helping with that. We've had some other people from the community, Joe Brazell, uh, Rob's son Benny, and um, Bob Rhodes. They've all done some woodworking, carpentry type things. We have a soda fountain, actually, that has been reconstructed and it's going to be put downstairs in the lobby that has had electrical and mirrors and columns and marble top that they've reconstructed that they're trying to put together. So. Uh, we just, it has taken a lot of effort on a lot of people's parts to get us to where we are today, and we're very thankful for that. This space will be set so that the stage will actually be in the center of the room. It's offset diagonally, and there's actually a large pole in the center of the room, and so we're going to set the stage diagonally, and then the folks will be seated from either side, so they will be in padded chairs that will be facing the stage that runs across the, the middle section of the room. We probably seat, I would say, uh, 75 to 100.